A do-it-yourself approach to treating Parkinson's disease in Tasmania has led to a university clinical trial in Australia. It began with the group of Tasmanians who were living with Parkinson's discovering that putting red light helmets on their head twice a day was halting the progression of their symptoms and improving their quality of life. They've inspired the clinical trial that's now underway across Australia to find out if the lights are actually making a difference or if it's just the placebo effect at work. At a home in Tasmania's northeast, a retired specialist doctor and an electronics expert are developing infrared light helmets, devices they say are improving lives. For people with Parkinson's, the red lights are giving them an improvement now, right now. They're not having to wait 10 years for a pill. Catherine Hamilton started using red lights in 2016 to improve her own arthritic knee. While there isn't any definitive science on the treatment, she believes red and near-infrared lights can regenerate old cells and help create new ones. They are able to penetrate a cell and then pop a little pulse of light energy into the cell battery called the mitochondria. And the cell battery, if it's been unhappy because the cell isn't functioning well, the cell battery will go, oh, thank you, I like that, and start promoting some activity of the cells. While many people claim these red light helmets are helping their brain, many health professionals remain sceptical as it's yet to be scientifically proven if they're making a long-term difference. But a team of researchers in Sydney are hoping to change that. Dr Anne Liebert and her team are running a clinical trial involving Parkinson's and non-Parkinson's patients in Sydney, Brisbane and South Australia. They hope to show that the reported improvements aren't the result of a placebo effect and the normal waxing and waning of Parkinson's. The main uh, hope is that we can capture and replicate what the clinical observations have been over the last few years in Tasmania, in other centres around Australia, and that we can characterise and predict who would be able to uh, benefit from the helmets if it's a sustained improvement. The first results of the trial are expected later this year. There's a huge amount of work that went into designing it. and. Um, now that that's done, I can sit back and hopefully get some good news from all the trials that have been carried out. But whatever the results, this pair say they'll keep making their light devices anyway. Monika Dadson, ABC News, Lilydale.